think to be successful and, uh, and happy and fulfilled in a sustainability job, I think you have to have a high level of comfort with ambiguity and complexity. You have to be able to help others through change, uh, which inherently breeds ambiguity and complexity. Organizations have often you know, spent an enormous amount of time and resources optimizing the way they do what they do. And so when you come in and say, hey, how about we do it differently? You know, you're going against the grain. And so I think, again, having that, that mindset that you're, you're here to create disruption, to make people uncomfortable and to help them through that in a way that, uh, you know, again, feels constructive and positive. ASU was the first uh, university in the States to have a sustainability degree granting program and a school of sustainability. And the great news is now there are actually quite a few around the country. I think what makes ASU still unique and the students that come to the school of sustainability at ASU still unique is that sustainability at ASU really transcends the school or the degree program. I mean, as an institution, ASU uh, has completely transformed uh, itself in terms of how it thinks about its mission, its place in the world, and the way it brings about all of its disciplines, and so call it transdisciplinarity, call it all kinds of things, but the, the institution itself now embodies a lot of the principles of sustainability. Don't come from sustainability as a, you know, I have knowledge and wisdom that you've been lacking, but rather, you know, I now have tools, skills, and perspective that will help you align your objectives, your mission, your desire to grow and, and succeed and, and achieve your miss, mission, whatever that might be, in a way that will be more sustainable. And if you align yourself to what the organization will deem is the definition of success as opposed to what you deem is the deficient definition of success, you'll inherently be more successful. My belief is that the future of sustainability as a profession is that you will always have a, a, a kind of a, of, a, of a core, of a nucleus of experts who can advise and guide the organization, but that a lot of their work will be actually to really uh, disseminate and permeate the practice of sustainability. Um, again, just like ethics, just like quality management, a lot of these things that over decades you know, became embedded in all aspects of an organization, but again, it doesn't mean that you don't need um, experts to keep up with the field and to keep uh, evolving how it translates into organizational success. There are pure sustainability jobs like mine where you literally have to consider everything about an organization, but in a large organization, it's very hard to start there. So you have to come up from something uh, and if you're going to start maybe as an analyst, maybe as a, uh, uh, as a more junior member of an organization, um, you know, ask yourself, what are you good at? What do you fundamentally enjoy? You know, what competency do you have that might be a good starting point in an organization if you have a lot of creativity, a lot of, you know, maybe uh, again in product development and marketing, if you're, you know, very detail oriented, you know, maybe you can go into operations, into finance, into engineering. Uh, you know, if you're marrying uh, your sustainability degree with either a minor or another major, you know, that then can become a platform to start in a particular direction. Uh, so, so just kind of try to embody this idea of sustainability is, is not a what as much as it's a how, and to some extent a bit of a why, um, but to, to never lose sight of the fact that it's about you know, helping an organization, whether it's a, it's a city, a company, a nonprofit, uh, a country, you know, find a better way to do what it was gonna do already.